Hi, my name is Ipiling and um, basically the inspiration for this video or rather why I wanted to do this video is because I was on LinkedIn and I saw a post. Post of a bootcamp where you have to pay for it. For me, I kind of like was a bit like, oh my gosh, what if there are people that actually don't know that there are some facilities or some things that you can access for free? We are in South Africa, obviously. There are boot camps that you have to pay for. There's your Hyperion Dev. You obviously have to pay big bucks for those. However, however, you don't always have to pay for a boot camp for development. You honestly don't always have to. For example, I've been a part of three different boot camps and I'm going to talk about each and every one of them just so that I can give a context to what I'm saying. Before you go and pay for a bootcamp, check first, there are always options for you to go and enroll for free and actually even get paid uh, either through a leadership or internship or even get like free data, get invitations to go and network with people that have been in the in in industry, which is great, it's a great opportunity as a dev. HTML or JavaScript. So I, I didn't find like I honestly didn't understand why I had to attend. So I didn't attend, but um there's a Slack channel that I was a part of. I submitted all my tasks that were due and then I got an indiv an invitation to uh an interview again. Right. So that is the very first web bootcamp. That is the very first bootcamp that I'm, I, I've spoken about. Okay, so for this bootcamp, one of the biggest benefits will have to be after the bootcamp is like one month long, you get like placement into the company for an internship for like six months last year. This is based on last year information. I don't know about this year. Um, they probably extended it, but um, a friend of mine was a part of their program last year. Um, I think she was in there for like six months and then towards the end of six months they said they were going to extend it so you never know they will extend it they might not but that's what you get you at the end of the day you're getting experience to dev getting paid for it obviously it's like it's a stipend but you're getting paid nonetheless um that is like my first boot camp that i attended obviously i didn't see through i didn't go for the uh the internship i went for the interview for the first one they told me to come to come and sign my contract because i passed the interviews i didn't go for that one because i got something else that i felt aligned better with who i am and what i wanted to do and also the money was money <laughs> it was a it's a it was a young internship but the money was money compared to that one and that is one thing that i also want people to know is that the m lab as much as it's a like it's strictly for found uh, strictly for foundational purposes like your it's your foundation in the industry 
so make sure that um, you take that opportunity seriously and even if you're getting paid peanuts it's they it's gonna help you it's really gonna help you no cap okay for the second boot camp uh, let's go with girl code my baby my Ooh. okay I love girl code just to put it out there I love girl code they were my first introduction to cloud computing. I never once thought that I could ever get into it. I remember once in varsity, a friend of mine once suggested that I look into cloud computing and I was like, oh no, oh my gosh, I'm not smart. <laughs> I'm not smart enough to do that. The cost is charming as it is. Why would I want to do something else? And they came, they changed the narrative for me. They gave me the introduction that I needed. They gave me the fundamentals that I needed. And at the end of the three months, this one is three months. At the end of the three months, I received a voucher to write an examination, an AWS cloud practitioner examination. I did that. I wrote. I obviously pre uh, prepared with the whole team, uh, with the cohort, obviously. We passed. And yeah, what else can I say about that? That's what happened. So... Uh, there are different types of cohorts, right? I was in the cloud practitioner cohort, which is um, the AWS one. There is the Java. Um, after the Java, after you're done with your three months for Java, you also get uh, a voucher to go and write the certification. I don't remember Java IEEE or something. Java IEEE something. But it's some internationally recognized type stuff, okay? It's good. It's a really good certification that... It's very reputable so I would really advise uh, if you want to go into Java try your luck at girl code and then there's also um, Python right I have not been a part of Python nor do I know anybody that's in uh, the Python bootcamp uh, the Python cohort however these are the three different types of bootcamps that you can get with girl code you don't pay them they buy you a time you specify if you need airtime or not they get that for you they do that for you you get to go to the um events i remember they once invited us to go to oh girl code does the thing they they invited us to there was like some seminar for women um is in joburg yeah it's in joburg um there was again we went to midrand there was something they invited some big ceos uh, what else like they always do the nicest nicest things um they always go all above and out uh, whatever over and above whatever you want to call it but they always do that for people especially the but for the people that are attending so that's one thing that i can say about girl code is that they go over and above and that's why i love girl code no cap so yeah catch though about girl code is that it's only for ladies that's the catch about um that the boot camps i'm not sure about their learnership because i do know that they do have a learnership program i'm not sure if it's only for ladies i will find that out however for boot camps strictly ladies amantombazan okay then the last boot camp that I have attended would have to be the Moza Innovation Boot Camp. Um, this one is for the Microsoft uh, Azure certifications. I did the Microsoft AZ 900, which is the fundamentals. There were so many. These ones, it's like you have a lot of varieties to choose in terms of which certification you want to do. They have vouchers for different types, different, 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 different. But obviously, it's absolutely mandatory for you to attend the one month full time. This one, if you are unemployed, this is absolutely suitable for you. So if you don't know where to find any of these things that I just spoke about, there's this LinkedIn. If you are a new graduate, you are getting into the industry, familiarize yourself with LinkedIn. That's where the buzz is. That's where you can start to see. That's where you see the opportunities. That's where it's all at. Go to their website. I know Girl Code, something's always up. They're always looking for something. If it's not a learnership, it's a bootcamp. If it's not a bootcamp, they're looking for mentors. If it's not mentors, it's a, a hackathon. There's always something happening with Girl Code. That's why I absolutely, absolutely love them. 
um, what they've done for my friend and I. Oh, funny story. Right now, I'm a junior cloud associate, right? An AWS associate. They gave me the introduction to AWS. A friend of mine, she is working a job whereby she's focused mainly on Java. She did the Java course, uh, the Java cohort. She was part of the Java cohort. Go cold. So I mean, we were talking with my friend, like we should just buy them just a packet of smoothies because wow, where would we be? You know, that little introduction that they gave us, literally today, we are both using it. Even though she didn't pass her certification for Java, uh, I obviously did pass mine, but I didn't think much of AWS and yet here I am today. So that is one thing that I want to say uh, is that I'm absolutely thankful to all these three organizations for taking time to kind of invest in young people. So yeah, these are not like just, this is not even a scratch, this is just the surface of boot camps and opportunities that are out there for complete beginners who want to get into IT in South Africa. I don't know about the world uh, or the whole of Africa, but South Africa, if you are looking for boot camps, there is a lot. If you want to get into IT, there are learnerships. I'll probably do um, another video about learnerships because I've also been a part of learnership. Uh, a learnership, I've been a part of like just the whole process and the the glitz and glam of it all i will obviously talk about that but i just wanted to make this one known right this is specific to myself but you have to really go and do your research because nobody's gonna do research for you nobody's gonna do that okay if you don't go and search you will end up paying for something that you could have gotten free even get paid for it Right, because even Mozart, they gave us like um, voucher. They asked us again, "Do you guys have data? They provision for that, right?" M Lab, they give you transport money to go there. Uh, M Lab, the bootcamp itself is online, so that one you you see yourself out. You see yourself out in terms of data, whatever you see yourself out. However, in order for you to go and complete the internship, guys, at the end of the day, let's remember as much as we are coming from humble beginnings. We are here to hustle and we are here to learn. So being paid 2K, 3K, 4K, 5K to learn, for me, it's not bad at all. I absolutely appreciate it. Um, yeah. And that's what I that's what I honestly wanted to get off my chest. To say that I have been through this and me seeing that people are paying or there is an opportunity for somebody to pay for something that is free as way it's i don't know it, it doesn't sit right with me so yeah uh if you are paying for your boot camp it's okay it's absolutely okay i'm not coming for you i'm not so just do you but this is informing this is information for people who would um very much appreciate stuff like this because um if you don't know you're not in the it space you won't know I'm thinking about people that are back home that are not in Joburg, that are not in Gauteng, the whole of Gauteng, not in Pretoria. We are not; they are not around people that know people around. Because right now I'm in the hub. I'm in the hub where there's bars. If I'm in Cape Town, I'm in the hub. But back home, there are provinces in South Africa like your Northwest, whereby how am I going to know about girl code, right? So yeah. That's basically what I wanted to say, that let's bring more exposure and expose yourself as well to stuff like this. Thank you very much for watching. If you made it to the end, it's very long. It's like 15 minutes. It's okay. It's 14 minutes and 15 seconds. So thank you very much for watching up until here. And I really hope this, you learned so much from this because this is just, this is just the tip of that. It's not even... They, it's not everything, right? I obviously have not been able to go into every bootcamp. It or it wouldn't make sense for me to enter each and every bootcamp that comes by, because at the end of the day, I have direction and I know what I want to do. So just because everything is free doesn't mean I have to take everything that is free. Just pick what I need, and get through with it thank you so much for watching i really hope this has kind of enlightened you in a way and do your research do your research don't go paying for things that 
you don't know if there are cheaper alternatives make sure that you check whatever alternatives that are there check okay check can't be doing this for you actually i can i will don't worry i will <laughs> thank you